Hi, Heather from HookedOnPickin.com here, and I wanted to talk to you about Facebook promotions. Do they even work and how do they help? I'll let you know. So one of the Facebook promotions I did off of my Hooked on Pickin' Facebook page, which you can check out if you want, um, I'd love to chat with you there. I put lots of my new product on there and I like to chat and have um, conversations on there. So leave me a message. I um, try to get back to you. So one of the promotions that I did was I did a boosted post. What is a boosted post? Anything that you put on there as a post on your Facebook page, you can boost so that more people can see it. And so you can, I can link a YouTube video and then boost that post. I can link a product and then boost that post, things of that nature. Um, you can even just make a comment and then boost the post so that people see the comment and, um, and it's more available. So one of the things I did was I linked one of the products I had for sale on my Facebook um, page. So I have it on my hookedonpickin.com website. I was able to post that product on my Hooked on Pickin Facebook page and I boosted the post. Let me give you the details on how I did that. The post that I boosted was some, um, I had these um, Christian bracelets and I'll probably pop a picture of them up in the corner just so that you can see what they look like. They're um, by his wounds leather Christian bracelets that I have for sale on my Hooked on Pickin website. So I'll show you a picture of those up here. Um, but the post that I boosted was for those for sale for, um, I have them for sale for about five bucks, but I targeted men and women ages 18 to 65. And then I did the post only for one day. I spent $5 to get this post boosted for 24 hours. So they do it from whenever it gets approved, um, and that usually just takes a matter of minutes, to the very um, next day, that exact same time. So with the $5, I reached 567 more people off of my Facebook page, and I got 13 link clicks. Now this is just in one day. So I found that a huge victory. So if you take it, the money into consideration, I spent five bucks, um, it cost me less than a penny, 0 .008 um, for the people that I reached and for my link clicks, which is the most important thing. You want them to actually click on that product so that they want to buy it. Um, the link clicks cost me 38 cents a person who clicked on that link. Um, and I did sell some and um, the page likes, so people who liked my Hooked on Pickin' page, there was one, and then I had one person share it that day. So um, this was hugely profitable. It definitely drove a lot more traffic to my product and people looking at my product and a lot more interest in my product. And so um, boosting a post, I definitely think it's probably been the most profitable for me because it gets the most interest. Because not only do they go to see the product, but because the product is linked to my website, it also brings them to my website and they can peruse my other things. So um, I'm doing a few more other promotions um, and I wanna keep giving you updates on the Facebook promotions if you have a Facebook page. But check out my Facebook page, hooked to, hookedonpicking.com. I would love to uh, see you there and uh, hear your traffics and uh, uh, hear your comments and stuff and have more traffic on my page. I've got a lot of my products shown on there. Um, and then if you're interested in any of my products that I sell, check out hookedonpicking.com. I'd love to um, be able to ship something to you that you find very interesting. So hope this has been helpful about a boosted post is what it's called on your Facebook page um, from Heather from hookedonpicking.com. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. This is Heather from HookedOnPickin.com. If you'd like to purchase my reseller guide, which is fully laminated three cards with checklists for Goodwill, eBay, and Amazon, please click the link below and you can purchase it now. The Goodwill card has over 80 different tips to show you how to walk through the store and what things I look for when walking through a thrift store to buy and resell items on Amazon, eBay, and other platforms. The Amazon reseller checklist has over six major steps and a lot of sub steps to look at in order to find out, is my item going to be perfect for selling and reselling on Amazon? The eBay card also has six major steps to walk through to make sure you're choosing the right item that will be perfect for reselling and making money on eBay. Each card is fully laminated so that it cannot be destroyed easily, and it's perfect for taking with you while you're going on your picking and finding treasure hunting for reselling. I hope this is helpful, and I hope these cards help you to focus your energy to pick the right items to resell online to grow your reseller business. 
thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.